It marks the 21st anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attack. Ceremonies were held throughout Western Massachusetts today to honor the lives that were lost. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell has the story after stopping at one remembrance ceremony in West Springfield. America's Song of Remembrance played in West Springfield on Sunday morning where a ceremony was held to honor the victims, their families, and the heroes of 9-11 21 years later. On behalf of the city, I want to say thank you, all of you, to come out. We always say never forget, and because of you, we don't. Because of you every year, we know we have one of the biggest ceremonies around on the day to make sure that everyone else remembers and never forgets this moment. Many gathered on the town common to pay their respects Sunday, including West Springfield Police Chief Paul Connor. He tells Western Mass News 9-11 is a day that will never be forgotten. We do our daily things differently now. Um, we know that life is precious and that we know that at any time we are um, we are subject to what the rest of the world is as far as terror goes. Keynote speaker, retired Army Colonel Christopher Riga was also at the ceremony. He shared what he was doing when the attacks happened. When the first plane struck, I was a captain in 3rd Special Forces Group at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. We watched in horror at the tragedy that just happened, thinking it was a terrible accident. For so many of us, the attacks on 9-11 were personal. I, I grew up in Westfield, uh, had three high school friends killed that day, two on flights coming out of Boston. He also reminded people that 9-11 remains a day of reflection on the attack that killed nearly 3,000 people. That day and every anniversary of it should remind us it was one that jolted our great nation out of complacency and made us realize we are not immune to the worldwide terrorist threat. Reporting in West Springfield, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News.